Hey, my name is Sean. Welcome to Echoes in Eternity Bourbon. Have you ever just run into some of the most amazing people? So, I'm telling you, been so blessed on this journey, on this bourbon channel, to meet such amazing and wonderful people. I cannot tell you how many times you guys have blessed me in my life with the friends that I've made through this channel, the, the different interactions that I've had with people, the opportunities that I've had with people. I mean, you guys literally amaze me daily, and I thank you so very, very much for it. You know... Uh, today's today's uh, review is actually going to be over a short barrel. This is a bookkeeper's. This is a booker's barrel. It's a single barrel from them. And it's coming in at 117.2 proof. So I am looking forward to this. Um, haven't had a pour of this, but I'll tell you what. Clinton and them are doing an amazing job at short barrel. You know, this is going to be coming out on Tuesday afternoon. But, you know, Monday they got the, a double gold from San Francisco for one of their single barrels. And I am so excited for them as a company. I am so excited about what Georgia's doing in bourbon. You know, and, and you see what's going on in Mississippi. Alabama's really starting to, to, to cut some teeth in some things, too. So this area and this region is really starting to do some nice things. And I'm, but I'm so excited what Georgia's doing. You know, between 13th Colony, Short Barrel, ASW, you know, third, and Short Barrel just bought um, the 4th, you know, Old 4th. So that's some more stuff going on there. And I think they got an award for one of their bottle and bonds there. So they're doing some great things in the area. You know, 13th Colony's getting a lot of awards. ASW's getting a lot of awards. So they're doing things right here. And I'm so excited about that. But we, before I get into this, I just wanted to say that I was talking about the generosity and the amazing people that are on this. You know, I, I, I have this Knob Creek store pick that I did. And you guys have supported me so, so very well for that. And I'm truly appreciative of that. But there's three members. And it's funny, they're all Patreon members, too, that went ahead and said, I want to buy an extra bottle to give away on the show. And so Mark Gale, Randy Lalonde, and, and Gandy Road, thank you very, very much. Every one of them purchased a bottle, so in turn, one of you guys might receive that bottle. So what I've decided is I'll give away one of these bottles at 2500 3000 and 3500 So every 500 um, members that there are, when there's a giveaway, one of those bottles will be given away. And like I said, Mark, Randy, and Gandy Road, Thank you very, very much. I, I, I just, I can't say enough about how generous you are and how much you're willing to give to other people that you've never met. But I think that says a lot about the bourbon community. You know, we talk about a lot of time, bourbon is a facilitator. So you can have conversations with people. So you can, you know, sit down at the end of the day, unwind and relax and things like that. And, and now someone's giving you an opportunity for something that maybe you wouldn't have had because maybe you're not from this area and it'll get to you now. So looking forward to that. You know, the next giveaway is at 2500 Do a bigger giveaway at 3000 and then another giveaway at 3500 At the 2500 giveaway, it's neat because you'll have a, <laughs> a couple of, you know, YouTube bottles. Um, you know, the, there's the Knob Creek store pick. Uh, and then there's also, this is the neat one that was done at Spillway with Bruzel where, where they did like a group barrel. So I'm going to wax this up. It's already got TJ's signature on it. If for some reason you want mine on there too, I'd be glad to put that on there as well. If whoever wins this. Um, but I think I'm going to name this the new blood oath because it came in at 98.6. So, you know, TJ's barrel, I'm just going to call it the new blood oath packed spillway i don't know <laughs> something like that but at 2500 that's what i'm looking at and i'm probably going to put a six pack in there as well so looking for 2500 looking to get a couple of bottles into people's hands um you know one that i selected and one that we did at spillway uh with Bruzel, which i think is super cool 
and then I'll throw a six pack in there as well for somebody else. And then at 3000, we've already got this stag over here, uh, which was donated. Thank you so much, David, for that. So David donated that. Plus there's one of the other knob creeks and there'll be some more stuff coming at 3000. So a lot of great things coming, but a lot of this is really inspired and facilitated by you guys. And I thank you for that. So let me, let me get into this short barrel right now. Um, looking forward to this. Like I said, this is called bookkeeper. This is a booker's bar barrel that short barrel got, and they, they decided that they were going to do something with this. Oh man. And I'm a booker's fan. So I know that inherently I'm probably going to like it more than most. Not everyone's a booker's fan the way I'm a booker's fan. But I am a Booker's fan. You know, what's strange is normally, you know, you think of Booker's, you think of peanutty type of stuff. But I'm getting more of like a, a caramely banana type of note on this right off the bat. Get your oak, vanilla, your caramel, but that banana note on there is a little bit strange for me. I'm getting almost like a stewed apple type of thing going on in there too. So, a, you know, kind of a couple of deep fruits going on there, like a banana and a stewed, and the banana and, a, and a, like a stewed apple going on there with the caramel and the oak and the vanilla not a whole lot of ethanol on the nose you know which which i like um is i don't want to be overpowered with just the smell of alcohol i, I like some of the different notes and flavors that comes with it let's give it a taste see what we got wow That is neat. That is a neat experience right there. Okay. So it's coming in really, really sweet. And I'm getting some apple on this right away. Um, it's it's more of a, like a sweet red apple as opposed to, you know, like a, a, a Macintosh or something that's a, a sour green. This is more like a sweet apple, almost like a baked apple taste that's coming along with this. But very sweet up front on this. On the back, I get a little bit of a an herbal note, but it's like a sweet herbal note. Get a little bit of pepper on the back. Get a little bit of drying from the oak. Man, I got so excited in getting this nose, I didn't even get into what it looks like. And it's kind of a, a deep yellow. It's got very nice viscosity. But it's got a very good mouthfeel. I'm giving this a, a medium plus to a medium long finish because it's still finishing on here right away. So it's just kind of lingering in the back. Getting a little bit of a leather on the back of it as well now too. So I'm getting getting the oak and the leather and the pepper on the back. Up front, I'm getting that caramel and I'm getting that apple, kind of a sweet red apple thing going on. Still get a little bit of that banana on the nose. Not getting a whole lot of peanut on this. You know, people assume that this is going to be peanutty. I'm not getting that. I'm going to have to pick, <laughs> pick another one of these up next time I go to Short Barrel. They're available at Short Barrel. If you're in the Atlanta area, go to their site. I mean, super cool people to hang out with. I mean, Clint and Sam are there. That's who we got to spend our time with when we were there. They they sell bottles there. They've got, you know, they've got the beekeeper or, you know, stuff like that. So they've got their honey barreled stuff there, bees knees stuff. Uh, they've got this there. They've, uh, I think they may have sold out of their El Jefe, but they've got other bottles there as well. But this Booker's, I'm going to have to go back for this. And it's funny because I might have to put this up against some of my other Booker's and Little Book up there to see if this is maybe my favorite Booker's barrel, even though it's short barrel. I'm telling you, there's just something magical about the weather here, what it does to whiskey. 
it turns uh, it just intensifies those flavors and for me it kind of smooths them out a little bit makes them sweeter makes them thicker makes them richer And this drinks like a hundred proofer. It's drinking way, way under proof, which is very dangerous for me. Cause if I get something like this, that has that nice change um, from the sweet to a little bit of a fruit going on, a little bit of herbal, a little bit of pepper, leather and oak on the back. And then it just goes down really nice. Even though you get a nice finish on it, it's not burning up my chest at all. I go back to, man, I'm going to need some more of this. So I know when I'm going through Atlanta again, I will be stopping at their store. If they still have some of this, I will be picking up another bottle of this. So definitely a backup bottle for me. Man, I, you know, it's going to make it tough when I go. I'm going to the Kentucky Bourbon Festival in this fall. This fall and it's going to make it tough because I really, really enjoy the Georgia bourbons. The Mississippi bourbons, starting to work on some of the stuff in Alabama. And if I go to Kentucky and I keep comparing them against these and they're not raising that bar the way I would expect, you know, Kentucky to do, they might be in trouble. I'm just telling you right now, they might be in trouble. You know, I put out a video months ago is that, you know, is Georgia going to be the next, you know, is Georgia coming for the crown? Are they coming for the king? Are they coming for Kentucky? And I'm thinking they got three serious players in Georgia that are vying for some heavy spots uh, in Kentucky bourbon land. Man, I'll tell you what, that's so good. I'm going to have to get another little pour of this just so I can finish the video. So I can give you a proper cheer at the end. Looking at the legs, it's got nice, long, viscous legs. And they're just streaming down the sides on that. I don't know if you can see that very well. But man. And it has just this little bit of a funky aftertaste that I kind of like. And I like some different funky stuff. And I'll just tell you, that that's me. I don't want... I, I, there's times I like smooth, but I like some funky in my stuff. Just because I like odd flavors. Just because I want something that's going to be a little more pronounced. Just so I can go back to say, look... This isn't my everyday pour. When I hit this, I'm going to explore something different. And I'm getting that out of that. So definitely impressed me with that. Man, it's Tuesday. You know, well, actually, by the time you guys see this video, it's going to be Wednesday. It's going to be Wednesday when you see this video. So, man, I'm so excited. Man, it's going to be the 1st of May. Uh, Patreon winners, I'm excited for my, my three six-pack Patreon winners. Thank you so much for that. You know, if you guys want to join the Patreon, there's a free membership in there as well. Plus, you can look to see what you can join. I mean, it, we have a Discord. It gives people an opportunity to speak. Um, you know, we, we had some talk, and I'm going to reach out to Panda. We're talking about doing something with some, maybe some sample trades with, with people kind of on a monthly basis. I, I think I'd like to get that started just to have some fun. Just to say, just kind of showcase different areas for different people and have a great time with that. So looking forward to that. You're seeing this on a Wednesday, man. If it's past lunch, if you're a Monday through Friday person, you're on the downhill slide for the weekend. I'm excited about that. I'll be hanging around the house this weekend and spending time with family. Blessed and looking forward to that. Good times there. If you're not, I you know, if you're working or you, you have a job that maybe you work off hours, you know, I hope whatever you do at your work day, I hope it goes by fast. I hope you're successful and energetic in everything you do. I hope you bring great energy to your teams. So that way, in turn, they bring great energy back. And you guys can work through a lot of things together that way. You know, I, I truly believe that if you bring good energy and you work hard on things, you're going to be successful in life. Is it going to be pretty or easy all the time? No, but you'll be successful. So keep grinding away and doing the things that you have to do. For those that don't have, you know, that are working nights, you're working weekends, you know, you're, you're in our American military, so you're always on call. You're a first responder, a doctor, a nurse, you know, 
thank you for everything you do. I always, I always think about our truck drivers. I always think about our farmers, our teachers. You know, you're feeding us. You're making sure stuff gets to us. You're educating us. Thank you for that. For the people that are working the off hours, you know, to do what they can to provide for their families and, you know, making sure that services are open for all of us. Thank you for that. I'm truly appreciative of it. You know, I think that we forget the many blessings that we have all the time, that we have the freedom to go places and different times and different hours and purchase the things that we want and enjoy our own unique experience the way that we want to enjoy it. So bring great energy out to the world. But when you finally get that off time, man, I just hope it slows down for you so you can enjoy a good pour, a good conversation, you know, have a great walk with the dog, talk with your spouse, your boyfriend, girlfriend, you know, hang out with your kids, toss a ball, you know, play a video game with them. My son likes to do that to me. He likes to get me on games so he can destroy me. And then I'll pull him back to an old school game and destroy him and he'll wonder how the old fat man did that. But it's pretty interesting. But I, I, you know, do stuff like that. Go out of some of your comfort zones on things. Expand yourself a little bit. Have fun. But most importantly, all cheers and God bless. Y'all have an amazing day. Thank you. Mm. That one there's a winner. <laughs>